Very warm welcome to this beginner's guide to ZBrush. So as you can see in front of us here, we have just opened up ZBrush. Now this is the default layout and setting for it, but ZBrush you can highly configure. Now I've kept it all default so you can see how it's all working. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to load in what's called a primitive. So a primitive shape, it could be a, a cube, it could be a sphere and we use this to start our sculpting experience. Now when you first open ZBrush you're going to get something called a light box pop up here and all this is is a quick way for you to grab certain assets that you might have already created or that ZBrush has created for you. You can see there's a library of tools that ZBrush supplies out of the box but you can always add a folder in here and start creating your own parts to reuse in other projects or to use as a base for something. So this is called the light box. So I'm going to close the light box off by hitting this little button here and you're going to see now the interface. So on the left hand side we have all of the tools for brushes, um, alphas, uh, we'll talk about this later, um, we have different types of stroke, the material that we see and of course we've got colors down here. Now along the top gives you access to literally everything um, via drop down menus and this is the main menu at the top. Underneath that you have kind of these setting controls for things like brushes, Z intensity, Z um, the RGB intensity and color settings. You don't need to know for this basic beginner's guide we're going to leave things pretty much default and I'm going to be playing around with a few things but when you actually go into any of the courses you're going to see that we're going to extensively use a lot of this stuff as well as setting up custom look and feel of your ZBrush itself. So you'll notice that inside here we have a window and you can see there's a cursor that's going over the top of it. Well this is your canvas, this is where you're drawing. Now something people do straight away and this is the first tip is they click. They click with their left mouse button and they drag and they get this kind of thing happening up coming in. And this is basically creating nothing that you can work with. This is people have struggles with this and they keep clicking and they're like why can't I do anything turn around or and this is because this is the default way it's set up we need to actually load in a tool to be able to work so to clear this canvas of this image here we're going to press and hold the control key hold the control key and press n once and you can see i've now cleared the canvas so if you accidentally do this and you need to clear it hold the control key and press n okay so we're now going to load in a primitive into here and then I can talk about the navigation. So if you come over here to where it says tool at the top, you're going to see that you have this little tool. I'm going to click that. It's going to open up some settings here, quick pick settings here for stuff you've already done. And we have 3D meshes and you can see down here we've got 2.5D brushes as well that we're not going to talk about. The first thing we're going to do is use the common sphere 3d if i click this then nothing will happen at the moment until i click with my left mouse button and i drag okay so now we've got something in here but what happens if i left mouse button and drag again another one appears so we've got that duplicating effect that we had earlier and this is because we're basically laying it down and we haven't told it that we want to work with this mesh. So this is not, we're not able to do anything apart from add more circles in here or more spheres. So to clear this again, hold that control, press N. So let's pull it out again, hold our left mouse button, drag and release. At this point, what we need to do is we need to go into what's called the edit menu. So we're going to hit the edit menu and things will change. Let's hit the edit menu. Let's now click with our left mouse button and you can see I'm now rotating this. I'm going to turn the poly frame on for this. Don't worry about it. I'll talk about it later. Visually I've just done that so you can see what we um, are doing. So you can see with the left mouse button I'm, rot I'm actually rotating around the object. Okay, let me just zoom in a bit. I'll show you how to do this navigation in a second. So with that left mouse button, you can drag around the object in 3D space. You can see that, okay? So to zoom in and out, what we can do is we can press the Alt key, hold the Alt key, 
press the left mouse button and you can now translate this you can move this left and right so I'm holding the left mouse button and I am holding the alt key on the keyboard now watch what happens if I let go of the alt key I can now zoom in and out so I've let go of the alt key but I'm holding that left mouse button so let's recap to rotate around left mouse button drag in the direction you want to rotate to translate hold the left mouse button and hold the alt key so hold the alt key left mouse button and you can translate to zoom in and out all you need to do is click the alt key left mouse button release the alt key and you can zoom in and out so to zoom in and out again I'll just show you it's press the alt key hold the alt key press the left mouse button so you get a little cursor like this and then let go of the alt key so by using a combination of all these things we can actually work really quickly by getting the model around so remember I'm left mouse button to rotate around the object to translate the object I'm holding the alt key and the left mouse button and to zoom in and out I'm pressing the alt key pressing the left mouse button releasing the alt key and zooming in and out and that is how we navigate around ZBrush. This is really important that you practice this and get used to it. And this frame here, this is called a polyframe. This just shows you how your mesh is made up or how your model is made up. So these are called polygons in here. We're gonna talk about that in the next lesson. We're gonna talk about resolution of the image.